and uh, D, you have been to these countries like in Namibia you said like it was the best with Rwanda which have you find like the culture shock there like what do you find there the culture shock no, I can say like in Africa, there's nothing like I always felt like culture shock. Nice. Apart from food in West Africa, I've been to Ghana, I've been to Senegal, but the foods in, in Ghana really shocked me, you know, like you'll find in a, in a market, mm -hmm. you know, it's the way of life. I'm not disputing anything. I yes. have total respect to whatever people eat because it's what they really like and it's their culture. Yes. But for me, the culture shock mm -hmm. that I found in Ghana is the food. For example, people eating rats. You know and it's food okay another thing is uh cow skin cow skin yeah like people really like like they they really boil it until if you see it you won't know it's cow skin and me i've grown knowing the cow skin goes to factories and making like, mats and shoes i'm and really belts. shocked for it because yeah, they it, wait very like you know very thin i can call it thin right it's radius how does it have meat when you when they boil it it becomes like a mattress it adds so i can say like i have countries in africa where i would really want to go back for example in africa if you ask me Dee, today we are going where do you want us to go i'll say namibia number number one honestly but cape town could be the most beautiful city in the world that have been you know, said you know, i'll the, go is, very is soon the crazy, is the and in america Marwa, which just you would say like this is the best 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 I like California, California. because uh, they don't have winter summer and uh, they do but it's, it's not real the real winter you know because other places it's snow you can't like you can like freeze and you know <laughs> hey what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Claudio joseph and in case you are new here guys kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing this video in case you're new here guys kindly subscribe road to 4k subscribers over here guys so on today's video guys i'm coming live from my village over here in kenya africa so on today's video guys uh um, I went to pay visits to Ayamaru and the Mwangos and uh, they just gave me one of the best advice of traveling to each of the best countries they have been they have been and uh, tips of traveling you know if you haven't subscribed to their channel kindly subscribe to Ayamaru on YouTube and also Dimwango on YouTube. I'm going to leave their links down below at the description point case. So kindly subscribe to them and let's hear what they're going to share with us over here guys so thank you so much and uh, please subscribe to dim wango and i am Maru over here subscribe yeah road to 4k uh, 400k subscribers right and also 300k so uh, if all of you come we'll get there <laughs> and <laughs> for sure people, let's all subscribe as well yeah you know? brother here. yeah yes. Uh, if things don't work in this country, how do you find, how do you figure out things in different countries? If you go to this country, things didn't go as how you wanted, there's another one right there, you know. And of course, we have so many countries in this world, so you have numerous options. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, maybe like for you being in t more than 20, 20 countries, mm -hmm. which country do you find like, yeah, this is the best, this is the best country, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, we have best countries, but which you say like, if today I have a chance, I could go there again. Yeah, it depends. Like mm -hmm. now, I've, for me, I've been to two continents now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's say Africa, where I've been to, and also Asia. But I love, like, when I'm in a, in a, in a continent, I, I do thorough traveling. Like, I go to so many countries in there before I, I leave. Mm -hmm. So I can say, like, I have countries in Africa where I would really want to go back. For example, in Africa, if you ask me, Dee, today we are going. Where do you want us to go? I'll say Namibia, number number one, honestly. That country is so good, it's so beautiful. Like when I was there, I was like, wow, I've never been to a country like this. Like I really liked it so much. Yes. It's so clean, so beautiful, 
zero congestion like you know the city is so organized and clean and i think i tend to fall in love with countries that have less people somehow like you know in namibia people are not many the population is less you could be at the city center and there are no people oh really yeah like it's so clean there's no traffic and it's so clean very organized things are just in order you know you tend to feel like wow you know so i really loved namibia and for sure i'll i'll go back someday i don't know when but someday namibia namibia is mm. the best in africa hey to me yes to you <laughs> all right yes that's according to the also, also rwanda judges. i think my second best is rwanda and rwanda is do you know the meaning of clean clean, clean even clean. the people are just very clean <laughs> Even their police, like, eh, that country will also not forget it. And they have this order that you go in a location, if it's two-story building houses, it's only that. If it's just, uh, like, like, you know, they have designs. So they have this, if it's, it's a standalone, it's standalone. Yes. Like, they have, like, really amazing order. In terms of building, the way the city is organized, the people are so clean. Like, no hawking on the streets. In no, Rwanda. Yeah. Rwanda just here, our neighboring country. But, like, Guys. that country is so different. Mm -hmm. And the roads. Mm -hmm. I went to this village. The roads go until deep in the village. I mean, good roads. Tarmac roads. Tarmac until deep in the villages in the mountains. I was like, wow. You know, Rwanda is full of mountains, you know? Yeah. Yes, guys. And it's not dusty. <laughs> Maybe nowadays I don't like this thing called dust because mm. I've been to so many countries. Like the latest countries that, that I've been to, they don't have dust. For example, I've been in Philippines for three months. Trust me, in Philippines, you can buy white shoes and a month can finish. They're looking the way you bought them. No washing because no dust. Now, Europe is the craziest. Huh? You should go to Europe. In huh? Europe now, even dust is like forgotten. Huh? Everywhere, even in, in your home. <laughs> America is the same like that. Yeah. Uh, America is the same. Mm -hmm. You don't see dust. Eh, you Only look in construction site. And yeah. And in America, Marwa, which state do you say like this is the best, best, best? I like California, California. because uh, they don't have winter, summer, and uh, they do, but it's, it's not real, the real winter, you know, because other places, it's snow, you can't like, you can like freeze and, fr you know, so I like California, because, California. yes, it has a vibe of uh, kind of Latin America in a way, yes. All right, and there's a, a video you did in South Africa, Yeah. deep, deep down, in Cape yeah, Town, yeah, Cape Town, yes. yes, how was the climate over there, you know, like, you have been there so you can share with us how was the climate I over think there Cape Town for me yes. could be the most beautiful city in the world Cape Town, Cape Town. no 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 and I'm telling you this is uh, even scientific research mm. yes not just Marwa yes but Cape Town could be the most beautiful city in the world that have been you know, said you know, I'll the, go is, very is soon crazy, is the crazy thing about Cape Town we have a mountain a huge mountain right up here it's called Table Mountain Table Mountain and below there is a sea Wow. Ocean, not even sea, ocean. So, you know, when there is an ocean, it's supposed to be hot because of the humidity. Yeah. Yes. But now there is no humidity. So it's it's like right now, and we have a beautiful beach. So every day is like somewhere in the middle of uh, sunshine. But you know, because it's it's it, below below, they always have the seasons. But yeah. they don't have that that sweaty because the the mountain is bringing. The cold, yeah. the cold when there's a mountain is always this freezing mm -hmm. area. But now it's a mix. It's the it's the coldness and 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 from the ocean. From the so ocean. mixing two, warmth from the ocean and the cold from the table mountain. So they mix and create perfect. Yeah. And there's where Maro said like I have to shoot a video, a music video over here those yeah, days yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's Cape Town. It's Cape Town yeah. because you and Cape Town <laughs> is really built. I've been to Europe, but I don't think there's a city like Cape Town. I can't wait to be there. Actually, no, that having said, really yes. something else. I, I must. Like, yeah. right, and I thank God right now. Our president, congratulations. Yes. Right yeah. now, I can, can jump to, 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 South <laughs> to South Africa without being asked anything. Yeah. I can't wait. Like, I think, okay, I don't think I'll make it this year because we've already, we are already coming to an end. But before I leave Africa again, yes. I must go to South Africa and yeah. see. Uh, South it's Africa a visa free zone for Kenya. Yeah, yeah. most of Cape Town to be specific. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Cape Town is top. And not just like Maro saying it. Yes. It, Cape Town has everything. You can even like take helicopters. Like me, we took an helicopter. I saw. Actually, yes, that's I right. right. That video today. I wanted right. to ask you today how much yeah. really did you spend? And you know, like, <laughs> exactly. I was seeing that uh, Maro, he was not the one who was like 
like uh, like when you are just at the helicopter like, i guess we are the hell uh, the hostess like she was putting you like uh, giving you the uh, yeah. like you know the yeah. gears yeah the gears like you exactly. you don't have to struggle like you are the only like this is this no yes and it's well built it's, it's no joke Wow. Mega rich people and it's a mixed population. You see white, black. So you, you don't even feel like you're in Africa actually. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you don't yeah. feel like you're in Africa. <laughs> people who live in Cape Town they can comment on the video and tell us if I'm wrong. Or you can watch my vlogs. Uh, yes. You go to a nightlife is a mix of any so you meet white, black, Indians. All of them are in Cape Town. Mm, I can't wait. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's just like motivating as like now to travel I know I always to wanted yes. to go there but you know when mm. country is too strict and like do this do this do that. but now I'm so glad you our know, president is really making waves yes. for us I can't wait to be there for sure and see you want to be there but you are now like it it's like night. a layover like yes. they can, hey, they can let you go out <laughs> and uh, D, you have been to these countries like in Namibia you said like it was the best with Rwanda which have you felt like the culture shock there like What do you find there the culture shock? No, I can say like in Africa there's nothing like I always felt like culture shock yes. apart from food in West Africa. I've been to Ghana, I've been to Senegal, but the food in in Ghana really shocked me, you know. Like you'll find in a in a market, mm -hmm. you know, it's the way of life. I'm not disputing anything. I yes. have total respect to whatever people eat because it's what they really like and it's their culture. Yes. But for me the culture shock mm -hmm. that I found in Ghana is the food. For example, people eating rats, you know, and it's food. Okay, another thing is uh, cow skin. Cow skin. Yeah, like people really like, like they, they really boil it until if you see it, you won't know it's cow skin. And me, I've grown knowing the cow skin goes to factories and making like, mats and shoes I'm and I'm really belts. shocked for it because yeah, they it, weigh it very, like, you know, very thin. I can't call it thin, right? It's radius. How does it have meat? When you when they boil it, it becomes like a mattress. It adds. Oh, like. Yeah, and they love it. It's really respected and highly valued, you know. So I, I can say in Africa, the only culture shock that I see is is food. Most so in West Africa, for me, it's something that I had not seen. To be specific, in Ghana, but all these other things in Africa, I don't think there's something new that I'm like, wow, I've never seen this. No, 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 no. Yes, guys, with that said from D. Mwango, uh, like the thing that she had said from Ghana about what you call like the no, food. No, the food, food yes. yeah. But the yes. people are so good. Mm -hmm. Same lifestyle. Everybody's hustling in the streets as we do in my country. Like it's it's the same lifestyle, you know? Yes. And uh, for you, I saw you travel from like to the other continent as in, in, the, in, yeah. in Asia, right? Mm -hmm. In Philippines. How do you find the Philippines? No, they, they actually, when I just got there, I was just fascinated with their means of transport. Like, <laughs> I've never been to a country where I could just take a minute and be like, wait. <laughs> their means of, they have things called tricycles. You know, I could just see them, I'm just imagining like, you know, it looks like, let's say, a toto. It's, it's like you're inside a shell. And it's very comfortable and it's very unique, something I never saw anywhere. Like, I couldn't even imagine there's something like that that exists. And also they have these uh, mini buses called jeepneys. They are jeepneys. very, very, very unique. You know, but we used to have kind of close to that in, in Kenya. A long time ago, you sit looking at each other, like, you know. Like these are in yeah, but and... now there's a, somehow different, you know, because, okay, some of them have graphics like drawings outside they look so good they are so comfortable they are really affordable like you can go to you know like a long distance and you're paying like 10 pesos you know 10 pesos is like 20 cents you know so uh, that was really fascinating to me immediately when i got to that country you know their means of transport yes guys you have heard from our superstars here yeah? <laughs> D Mwango herself over here, guys. Yeah, Kindly. please subscribe yes. to my brother's YouTube channel. Claude Joseph here is a big supporter of mine. I always yes. see him in my live chats and all that. So big shout out to you and thank you for supporting us. So Tim D, please let's support our own as well. And uh, let us get to know what you think about today's video. <laughs>